It's, it's Rant and Looney Talk time. Rant and Looney time. Buckle up, bachachos. Welcome to Rantaroonies, where beauty talk gets real. Strap in for unfiltered opinions, tips, and tales from the beauty world like you've never heard before. Let's dive right into today's beauty rant. Ready? Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Welcome back to another episode of The Scalpel of Truth. I'm your host, Lise, a.k.a. The Bitch and Beautician. And today we're diving into a topic that is as alarming as botched lip filler and just as noticeable. And that is information hoarding. That's right, folks. We are calling out information hoarders. Whether you're a practitioner, a clinician, a manager, or an owner, it's time to face the music. So grab your scalpels because we are going to cut through this bullshit right now. See, bachachos, hoarding information might feel like you're hanging on to a golden ticket, but in reality, it's more like clutching a ticking time bomb. And I'm going to break that down for you. So we're going to start with practitioners first. You've just attended this amazing training on the latest injectables, but instead of sharing your newfound knowledge with the team, you keep it all to yourself. Why? Maybe you think it gives you an edge. Maybe it makes you, in your mind, indispensable, better than everybody else. Spoiler alert, it doesn't. What it does is creates a knowledge gap between you and your team. And ultimately, it affects the quality of service that your med spa is providing. Patients are going to notice that the left hand doesn't talk to the right hand. This is not a stellar look for your brand or your patient experience. Nor does it allow you to be rave worthy and get word of mouth referrals. Hear this though. Hopefully there is support for you if you're the one who's bringing back the knowledge for a share back in the form of payment. So if you're going to bring back knowledge that you've paid your own money and time to go to, there should be an agreement with the owner that they are paying you for that share back and training time for the team. So make sure that that's being taken care of. And if it's not, you go ahead and have your manager or owner uh, listen to this podcast. I'm sure they'll be thrilled for me to tell them. Oh, no. Now let's talk about the managers. Oh, managers. (laughs) You've got access to sales data, marketing strategies, patient feedback. But instead of sharing these insights with your team, you hoard them like a dragon garden its treasure. The result? Your team's working blindfolded. They can't improve their performance if they don't know what is working and what isn't working, okay? It's like trying to hit a bullseye in darts with your eyes closed. It's not going to end well. A quick example of this would be if the manager goes on vacation and the team is in need of finding the sales rep's information, uh, say the team needs to put in an emergency or last minute order. Let's go shit case scenario of the power going out on a Friday Uh, after everyone's left for the weekend and the refrigerator doesn't keep your Botox and Dysport at the correct temperature, but you don't find that out until Monday morning when you've got patients booked solid for the rest of the week and your manager is on vacation. The choice then is for the team to scramble and try and find the contact information from somebody else in the industry or bother you on vacation. Neither of those is a great option and not to mention it's inefficient as fuck and super annoying for everybody left at the clinic to deal with the fallout and figuring out how they're going to get more toxin so that they don't have to cancel the entire week of patients. Don't think I forgot about you, med spa owners. (laughs) Just sitting on a gold mine of business strategies, supplier contacts, and industry trends. But instead of empowering your staff with this information, you keep her all locked up. Why is that? I think it's a fear of losing control. It's afraid that somebody might outshine you Newsflash, okay? A successful med spa isn't a one-person show. It's a well-oiled machine, and every cog needs to know its part. By hoarding that information, you're not only stifling growth, you're choking it to death. And then you wonder why your business isn't thriving. So let's get into some more juicy examples, shall we? So imagine a sales rep comes to your med spa with groundbreaking new product or technology. Instead of sharing that contact information with your team 
and all of that great information, you just keep it to yourself. Why? Maybe you want to look like the only one with access, thinking it's going to make you look more connected or that you found this new product by doing the research and making yourself look like a rock star. But what actually happens is if you're out sick or on vacation or worse, leave the clinic, nobody knows how to reach that rep and the med spa misses out on the latest advancements in bringing something amazing in because of your selfishness. That's an a-hole move right there. How about this? You've discovered a new incredible marketing strategy or went to a conference or chatted with a business consultant. That's going to drive patients through the door like nothing else. But instead of sharing those insights with your marketing team, you keep it under wraps. The result of that, your campaigns are inconsistent. The potential for growth is completely stunted. The information hoarding doesn't just hurt you. It literally drags the whole practice down. So again, why does this happen? It's a fear of control loss. It's out of insecurity. And it's human nature to want to protect your turf and be the best you can be and outshine, do your best, right? But in the world of medical aesthetics, collaboration is key. So sharing information builds a strong team and a practice. It also fosters innovation and ensures that everyone is working towards the same goals. So when you hoard information, you create silos and silos lead to inefficiency and missed opportunities. So really the big takeaway here is stop hoarding information. Share your knowledge, empower the team, and your med spa, cosmetics practice, whatever you have, is going to thrive. Because in the end, a rising tide lifts all ships. And remember, folks, in the med spa industry, it's all about working together to provide the best possible experience and outcomes for our patients. Well, Bachachos, that's all for today's episode of The Scalpel of Truth. Join me next time as we continue to slice through the industry stacks of shit to determine what it takes to make a successful med spa or cosmetic practice. Thank you so much for tuning in and for all of your love, shares, comments on social media. I honestly appreciate it more than you'll ever know. So until next time, I want you to stay sharp, stay focused, and stay fabulous. Uh, don't want to wait, just see things stay the way they are.